everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDye.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And this week's Mimeograph Monday with a twist. And the twist is, <coughs> excuse me, we're not going to be doing the Mimeograph Monday or the twist. What I'm actually going to be doing <coughs> is I got my pre-order from the mini catalog, the new mini catalog that will start in September. So we're gonna do an unboxing. Now it's kind of a weird unboxing. It's not like I'm just opening the box or bringing it out. Um, but I am showing you everything that I ordered. Um, and I'm so excited because there's so much new fun stuff. And I also, this is what I'm going to be using for most of the stuff, right? For my fall social, fall blah, blah, virtual, fall social so I will go over that again with you when I'm showing you everything so if you are new to my channel welcome if you've been here before welcome back my name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley Arizona so I'm so glad that you're joining me today and I heard from quite a few of you that said um, yay you love unboxing videos so that's what we're gonna do now I can't open up the catalog but I can show you what I ordered. Okay, so when the catalog goes live, then I'll do like an actual like flip through, um, and then that's always fun as well. Okay, so I'm gonna have you um, close your eyes for a second while I get my camera adjusted. So that looks pretty good. Now, um, so keep in mind also, if you are thinking of joining my team, you can add any of these items to your starter kit so that is awesome then you don't have to wait till September okay so I'm going to show you the stamp sets first and um and some of them are like a bundle so I'll show you that as well what I will show you is so some of these two I showed you already because these are what you're getting for the um fall social so I've already showed you these, but I figure I would just show you again in case you are new. So here's one of the new so Sincere and Festive Fun. So those are two that you're getting for the fall social. If you are a demonstrator, because I have quite a few demonstrators take my um, virtual events. If you already order them, you just switch, switch it out. Okay, so here is the Joy of Noel, and I hope I don't get any... Um, what you call it? Um, shine on there, but isn't that so cute? I love this um, Noel. Um, you know, just that with the little um, vines inside. It does have a matching die, so let's see what the die looks like. So it is kind of unboxing because the stuff's still wrapped. All right. So look how fun this is. So I love that. So this will, you know, die cut that out. So this is going to be fun to play with. And of course, I will get my labels on everything, but um, but right now we're just checking them out. So I love that. And I love that you've got this kind of um, design there. So you can put like texture on your, now you know, I did, I put that in wrong. All right, it goes this way. So when you slide this little thing, there. So then it doesn't have the die to stick on. So that's how it's supposed to be. All right, so super fun. All right. And then I'll put the name on here. I'll put a little um, color sticker on here. And then I know that it has a, um, a die to go with it. All right. We also have Christmas Classics. Now, I think that's part of the same suite, but I don't want to say that because I'm, I don't want to um, steer you wrong. And because some of the, um, you know, because some of the ones I just did this whole suite, and then I got like a whole bunch of stuff, and then other things I just, you know, ordered just the bundle or whatever. So I don't want to um, tell you the wrong information. All right, so we have Christmas Classics, and then it has Christmas Classic dies to go with it so let's see what they are now always make sure you flip them over make sure there's only one or two so this one has quite a few dies so it actually has um, two cardboards so just make sure that you know when you're you're going through your stuff that you have you know your full 
your full uh, stuff. You'd hate to, you know, throw part of your die away. All right, so that's pretty cool together. Let's see here. We have Very Cute. Now, Very Cute also had, also is a bundle, but it has a punch. Let me show you the punch. So it's super cute. It looks like it um, punches out that little girl bear. I'm assuming, I want to say that that looks like the girl, that looks like the boy and the baby. Um, so you've got your fun little punch. And you know, I always tell you, when you get your punches, you always want to punch them out a little bit. First, that makes sure that nothing's wrong with them. But it also cleans off any oil and residue. So I just grabbed, you know, scrap paper. But it cleans off any um, oil. So look at this one. Can you see that first one? So see how there's like oil around the edge and it even got a little oil here as I slid it up into the cardstock. And you can see it here, you can see it along the edge there. But the more I punched it out, by the time I got to this last one, there was just a little bit of oil. So then I'll just keep punching till no more oil is on there. And basically the oil is a good thing. I mean, it, it keeps them well lubricated, you know, while they get, while they get here, but it's just, you know, when they're being made in the factory. All right, so there's the cute little bear in the stamp set. And I love, like, it has a little scarf, snowflake, and even has a little toque there. All right. Now there's another one. Here's one. Let me do the other punch. So there's the pick of the patch. And I love this. And I like that, you know, there's a little um, happy, the jack o' lantern face. Some people don't do Halloween, right? So then they just use the pumpkins without the little face on there. But I love this so that if you do it's it's very versatile so it's cute and then you have the um builder punch so again just do the same thing and not only does it take the oil off but if there's something wrong with your punch you can get back you can get with me right away so we can get it exchanged if you wait too long then you just don't want to wait too long. You want to make sure we can get it exchanged right away. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just punching. I'm making a big old mess, but I would keep going. And look at all these cute little pumpkin shapes. I love the builder punches because you could do so much with them. I love the little bear, but it's just a bear, right? But you have all of these. And when you punch things out without any stamps on them, you can see that they, they look like other things, right? Like this could almost be like a face. What else do we have here? This could be like a little hand that went up underneath there or like an ear. So make sure not only, you know, punch your punch out, make sure they work, but punch them out plain and just look at those shapes. And I bet you could come up with something. I love punch art. Okay, so let's get back to our our um, stamp sets in there in the dies if they have them so Mary and bright is so adorable and this has the the light but it also has a die so it was when I was trying to figure out for my fall social I was like oh this is cute that's cute what do I do um, so it was a, it was a hard decision so I may or may not just do you know just like a stamp set class right where you just get um, you know, maybe like one bundle or something. So we'll see. All right. So, but look how cute this is. So you've got all these um, light pieces and the strings of lights and like the cords. It is so fun. So look at all these. I love this shape. I mean, I love them all, but this one is just such a fun shape. And then you have these things that go inside, like that's where the, the power thing comes from. So it is adorable it has such a fun font as well you know me I really love cute fonts and this is great because you know you can stamp this in any color and then trim it out and then to me it reminds me of um, 
Oh, Papa used to have one. The label makers. Remember the label makers? And it was like a hard plastic, and you would kind of go ka chunk, and you would move it to the next letter and go ka chunk. Um, that's what that kind of reminds me of. All right, so we have wishes all around, which is super fun. It's got this round tree. It almost looks like you're you're gazing up. You know, you're like laying down, and you know you're seeing all these trees. But it's like a wreath. And for the life of me, it is. It does have a die. I don't know why I didn't order the die. <laughs> So I will have to get that later. All right, so we have Gift of Giving. And this is so cute. Like, look how fun this is. Just adorable. Like, Santa's got the presents there. And the cup of cheer with the chocolate chip cookies, marshmallows, candy cane. So this is super cute. All right, what else do we have here? We have throughout the year so this has some fun sayings as well really cute um, font be my valentine thing I like how the view is like different like thank you trick-or-treat cheers to you in the new year happy Easter you mean so much to me so this is a real cute one as well I love when we have greetings I have um, a whole bunch in them because then their their value is is even more valuable all right so magical meadow is gorgeous and it's got some really fun um, fonts in there as well and I love when they're spelling and writing together and then it also has a die that goes with it this, and now some of these have um, designer series paper that go with them as well. And then I'll be showing, you know, the, the paper, you know, separately. All right, so here is this die. So just like before, make sure, you know, you turn them over and you get all your pieces. But look at all the different shapes you get with this. And what are these? These look like little buttons or something. Sometimes you don't know what things are until you actually die cut them out. And this looks like it puts this pattern on your paper. I'm just assuming. But like I said, I haven't played with it. So who knows till I actually get around to using it. But it's super fun. So those little circles, they actually might be here. So that you can punch out like red berries and glue them on top. That might be what those little circles are. And not buttons after all. All right. So they, that is a stamp set that have um, dies or whatever. So let me get that out of the way. All right. Now another thing, and I showed this, another thing you're getting um, for the virtual fall social is the Abundant Beauty Decorative Masks. And I did show these the other day. And these are super cute. Let me cut this sticky stuff off of here. All right. Um, so I did show these the other day, but just in case you're just joining and you've never been here before. So these are another thing that you're going to be getting for Fall Social. But these are in that mini catalog. So you got this really cute, and I still can't remember what, is this called Hound's Tooth? I want to say this is like a Hound's Tooth. Then you've got your snowflakes. You've got your leaves. You've got... Um, the sunflowers, which I'm so excited about. And then you do these in layers, so there's like notches so you can tell like what, you know, what goes where. So that's super cute. All right. So what else do I have here? Okay. So now let me show you kind of miscellaneous stuff. And then we'll get to the designer series paper. All right, so we have some new memory, memory, oh my gosh, my, I have no memory. Berry Christmas Memories and More Card Pack. So you're also going to be using this for fall social. And, I mean, you won't get a full pack, but you'll be using partial pack. And so this is what this looks like. So this goes with that berry, you know, coordinates with the berry stamp set in the punch. And so I did open up a pack so I could show you you know what comes in it so you've got like these um, stickers you know you've got like little stickers to play with so there's like two of each and then you have 
a bunch of cards. So there's like six, I believe, of each pattern. So there's, um, you know, and then you can use them for scrapbooking, but I like to use them, especially when they're cute like this, to actually make cards with. And that's probably what we'll do for the spring social. Like, look at that. Let it snow. And look at the little bare feet in there. Isn't that adorable? And then the back side. Wishing you the very best. Wishing you the best this season. Some cute little trees. And then their back side of that. Okay. And then I think, yes, then it repeats. All right. So I think that was... You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so it's either five of the six. I don't know, but there's six different ones. And then there's the bigger ones. So look how cute that is. Christmas is better together. These are kind of like um, four by six, I think these ones are. Season's greetings. And then they repeat, right? Yeah. All right. So those are super fun, but I had opened that up so I could check it out. So that's why I had that one open. All right. So they have also, so we'll also be playing with these as well for the fall social. So not only do you have the memory more, memories and more packs, but we have these really cute memories and more cards and envelopes. So look how adorable these are. So you've got your little envelopes with some fun, you know, blues. And then you've got the reds. Doesn't this make you think of like skiing? So anyways, and then, so you've got your blue cards and your red cards. So what is nice about these is you can um, cut them, right? Like you can cut them in half and make the paper go even further. All right, so they are a vanilla. So see they're a vanilla instead of a white. All right, I'm just stacking everything on my desk. All right, so what else do we have here? Okay, so let's see. We also have some um, embossing folders and some different dies but didn't have a stamp set now don't hold me to it now this could be part of a of a suite or a collection um, it could be but I don't want to say it is yes or no okay so embossing folder this is the cheery patterns embossing folders so you have two different so you've got these fun bubbles and then these fun lines, which to me almost look like a blizzard, right? So that's fun. I love when we, they put the little two-pack in there. All right, this one is Christmas Tiding, so I'm sure this goes with something. All right, so Christmas Tidings. And so look how cute this is. See that? You've got all sorts of like writing. You've got the little gingerbread, some ornaments, holly berry presents, poinsettia. You've got um, stockings. So cute. All right. We've got a distressed tile, and this is a 3D. So when you do the 3D folders, you want to watch how you make that sandwich, I like to say, when you run it through the machine. So if you have, if it is, um, if you're struggling and you can't get it to go through the machine, never force it. Just give me a call and um, I can help you with your um, layering. It usually tells, um, you know, on the thing and it also tells on the machine. So just never force it. Um, whether it be a 3D or a regular one, you always want to have it go through um at the folded like you never want to have it go through this way um because it will trap air and it, over time it will like snap this so you always want to make sure you send it through on the fold side but this is the tile so that's pretty cool all right and i usually put a sticker on the 3d ones and that just draw 
reminds me that, oh, I have to make a different sandwich for the 3D ones. All right, so we have tiny Christmas tree dies. This is a really fun one, and this is going to make some amazing confetti. If you like to put confetti in your cards, and if Debbie, if you're watching, she's a great one for that. Um, this is going to be fun because you're going to get all these little trees um, that will punch out. So you can do um, in your confetti in your cards all loose, or it would make cute little shaker cards too. All right, now this one is Deckled Circle Dies. Okay. And this is really, really fun looking. And look at these circles. So we have the deckled rectangles, and now we have deckled circles. So look at how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen different sizes. Isn't that cool? All right. So that is deckled circles. I, I see that being very popular. Okay. And then we've got Snowflake Sky. This also is a 3D. And so look how cute this is. So you've got snow, like little speckles of snow, and then you have like the big snowflakes as well. So I know that's catching the, the light there, but hopefully you can see. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's see what else we got here. Now we got these new boxes, so I was anxious to see. Now, um, now I haven't opened them, so it's not like I go, oh, this is how it puts together, because your guess is good as mine. These are the nested treat boxes. They looked super cool in the catalog. So I want to see. I always love when we get chipboard. All right, so you've got, so I'm not even gonna try to put them together because I would like to put one together on my own <laughs> in case I mess it up. All right, so this looks like, so this is just a little box. They look super easy to put together though. And then this looks like what this will slide into, right? So, so this makes a little box. Then you make this little box, and this is going to slide into this box. So it has that little pull tab, right? So you would be able to pull it out. So I will, um, I will play with that, you know, a little bit more on my own, and and then I'll, I'll show you that another time. Okay, let's see here. Let's do some embellishments. So we have the new iridescent adhesive-backed disc. And these look super cute. I love when they don't stick them to the thing. Because then you just can pull them out without them being all sticky. But look how cute. So fun. So you see them shine there. I love, you get all that color. They look different the way the light hits them. Sometimes they look almost blue up here, but they're green. But I like how flat they are. So that when you're making a card, and you're putting, you know, you're putting in the mail, it is not um, super fat. Now these are the glow in, glow in the dark bats and ghosts. And I thought this was really cool. Let's peel this out of here. Come on, get out of there. I think that one's tacked down. Yeah, this one's tacked down. So usually I try to just spin it. But, so look how fun these are. Now I have the lights on, so we're not going to get a true, um, you know, whatchamacallit. Let's see. Can I turn the light out? I don't think I can. Let me see if I can. Hold on a second. Let's see. Now I haven't had them in the light long, so maybe they won't even work. Okay, hold on a second. Are 
they glowing? Are they glowing yet? Hold on. I got too many lights on. Too many lights. So you can, they are glowing. Look at that. Look at, they are glowing in the dark. So that's pretty cool. All right, so now I need to go turn all the lights on. Lights, camera. All right. So they did glow. So that was pretty cool. All right. But they look cool even in, in the regular light because you can see they're going to do something just by looking at them. So that is super neat. All right. And I didn't get tons of the Halloween stuff, but I did get those and the DSP, I think. All right. So this is, these look so cute. All right. These are the adhesive backed speckled dots. And look how cute these are. So it's kind of hard. Let's see if it will focus. So see, look, <clears throat> you can see the little speckles on them. Aren't they cute? I love it. All right, so that's those. Then we have the adhesive backed glitter sequins. And I'm usually, I usually don't get tons of sequins, but these, I love me some bling. Get off there. I love me some bling. So that's why these, I was like, yes, I will get those sequins. So they are like a sequin, but they're glittery. So I wish the camera caught, because these are kind of more like a turquoise. These are diamondy. These are this really, really pretty lime but they look darker on camera. At least they do on my computer. So, all right. And then these are the Faceted Gems Trio Pack, and look how pretty these are. And I think I got all of the embellishments. Pretty sure I did. But look how pretty these are. So we had something similar to these, but they were bigger. So these are like a little smaller. And I just love how they catch that. They look like icicles. So those are really pretty. Okay. And then we have the ribbons. And then I'll get to the designer series paper. All right. So this is the, what is this? White iridescent ribbon so I should have cut all my plastic off before the video all right so this is the white iridescent and you can already see how cool this is because look at that I mean the way the light hits it sometimes it looks like purpley sometimes it's got a green so this is pretty cool that's neat then we have the balmy blue sparkle ribbon and this is beautiful now the, this kind of reminds me of that frozen movie let it go let it go isn't that gorgeous oh my gosh so it's it even sparkles a little bit on the back side but it's just this feels so so soft so there's that let's see this I was so excited about. You know me, I love the gingham. Well, this is a little bigger. It's a little bit bigger. And it's vanilla. Right? Yeah, black and very vanilla. Oh, I love it. I'm trying to see if I have any of the regular. Oh, wait a minute. just so you can compare. So here's our regular one, and this is the one I use all the time. Look at that, I can't even get that cut open. Hold on a second. Hold, please. Okay, 
So this is what we have in the catalog. And we've had it for a while. I love, 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 love it. Just so that I, you can compare. So this is the new vanilla. And then this is our, our regular. So you can see the difference. So there's white and vanilla. Both adorable. But I got to tell you, this... This is might now be even more popular to me than the other. And I'm sure you can add color to this one just like the other one. So I love it, love it, love it. I think I love because um, it's thicker and the vanilla just makes it look. So I got a couple packs of those. It's going to end up being, I'll have boxes and boxes of it. There's just certain ribbons. I just buy a bunch of them because I know I'm going to use it a lot. Nothing's worse than when you're designing a class or getting stuff ready and you go, oh my gosh, and you're short like a yard of ribbon. All right, so this is the silver and white sheer ribbon. And look how pretty this is. So you can see my hand right through it. So this is just gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So we've got some really pretty ribbons in there. So I grabbed a couple of those as well. And then we have a two pack. So this is copper and natural ribbon combo pack. So you've got copper and then this natural. natural so it's it's like it kind of reminds me of burlap but it's soft you know how burlap's kind of itchy this is um burlapy looking kind of but soft like really really soft it wouldn't bother you on your skin not that you're rubbing your cards on your skin but you know what i mean all right and then this is that copper which is like a penny i don't want to cut the ribbon some of the little plastics are loose, and then some are like right tight against the ribbon. All right, and then here's the copper. So look how beautiful that is. Look how it catches the light. So that is the um, combo pack. And I noticed off to the side here, I forgot to show you these when I did the embellishments. These are the loose holly gems and sequins. So these are loose. So these are what you would put... Um, you know, in a shake or card or whatever. And then we'll get to the DSP. All right. Ooh, so look how fun these are. So you've got musical notes, holly, berry, some silver circles. So those are really, and they're just so soft. It's like a, it's like a um, texture thing. You just want to like run your fingers through it. All right. So that, again, was the loose holly, and I'm not putting the lid on right, loose holly gems and sequins. So you know me, that will go in a glass jar, a pretty little glass jar. All right, so let me um, move some of this stuff off my desk so that I can raise up my camera so we can look at the DSP better. So hold on just for a second. Let's get to the DSP. So I will do the smaller 6x6 six six first. So this is Garden Walk six by six and I know a lot of you are like oh I love seeing the DSP and I haven't done a DSP for a DSP share for a while um, just because to be honest it's a lot of work and a lot of times um, people just want like the whole pack so I just kind of got away away from doing it um, so anyway so there that's my story <laughs> All right, so then again, what did I say this was? Garden walk. So this is a six by six. So you have one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a favorite. All right, so look at how pretty that is. So there's six pieces. And so you can already tell, this is a side I will, I will use. This is a little bit too plain for me. So I, oh my gosh, but look at this. You know how I'm always saying, I would love that in a top. I would love this in a top. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't this look cute with some blue jeans? Oh man. Love it. Oh, and see that's cute on the back. So sometimes that's hard. But these together, look at this. This is going to be a card. I know I'm going to put this on a card. I like to put the stripes on the bottom and the flowers on the top. 
So I'm going to have fun with that. Look how cute this is with roses and some daisies. These colors are really fun. So look how cute that is. And then the back side, so it's got diagonal lines instead. So super cute. There's this one. This these this one here is not a I'm not a fan of that one. Those colors are a little odd. That one's not bad though, so I'll probably use the back side. But look how fun this is. Oh my gosh. So this is super cute. So what would it look like? So see, these look good together. So when I don't use that side, I'll put these two together. Because I'm not a big fan of those colors. So I tell you like it is, I have no filter. You know if I like something or not. All right, look how cute that is. So it's similar to that one I liked before, just a little more white. And then some fun stripes on that side. And then look at this one. This one is very Christmassy, even though it says garden, which I guess that still could be Christmassy. But to me, this looks like poinsettias. And it, the um, camera is going, whoa, that red is bright. And then some cute little speckles on the back. Some green flowers on there which the camera's doing the same thing on that bright, and then some stripes. So there's definite Christmas and um, spring. So the colors are Calypso Coral, Garden Green, Mossy Meadow, Poppy Parade, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Wheat. So probably the color that I'm not really loving is the Wild Wheat on those ones that I go, hmm, not for sure, because I'm still not a big fan of the Wild Wheat. All right, so this is the glow in the dark specialty. This is, so I'm not going to turn the light out again, but I'm, I'm assuming it's going to glow in the dark. So that's pretty cool. So it's just one side. So that's pretty cool. And then the last six by six pack that I have. Oh, this paper. We are definitely going to play with for fall social. This is called All About Autumn. And I love when we do photography on our DSP. Oh my gosh. Some of this you could just throw in a frame and stick it on the wall. Because look how beautiful that is. Is that not breathtaking? Doesn't, don't you just want to walk through that meadow? All right, so we have one, two, three, four. Okay, so there's four. And on the other side, is that really, it's like kind of um, champagne -y or coppery or whatever. So it's kind of cool, right? Because it's got where it's rubbed off in areas, so that's cool. This is like a sweater. So that's cool. And then that back. So look how fun that is. And then look at this one. Oh my gosh, another trail that I would love to walk on and then hope that you didn't have ticks on you when you come home. But isn't that really nice? That's just the worry, worry ward in me that I would get a tick on me. But look how cute that is. And then it's got more of that coppery on the back. Oh, be still my heart. You know me and wood grain. I love me some wood grain. And that's good because I would use the wood grain probably more than this. Although that's really cool. All right. And then look at this. This looks like somebody had a drone or something. Doesn't that? And they went up and they looked at all the tops of the trees. So pretty with the fall leaves changing. There's some more of that foil on the back. Oh, look at this. Some blue corduroy, thick corduroy pants it looks like. And then, ooh, that's kind of cool back there. And pumpkins. So fun. Isn't this fun at DSP? Oh, my gosh. And then some more of that. So it looks like the back side of all of them have, like, that um, frosted foil look. Look how cool this is with the books. 
and then more of that. I'm like, oh, what books are on here? What books? All right, and then some leaves. So this is fun. Some pretty, pretty leaves there. Oh, look at that chair. That looks comfortable. Oh, so more of that. This is really fun. It reminds me of um, like maybe a fancy kitchen tile. All right, there's some more, some fall leaves. And oh, some close-up books. So that's pretty cool. And then some more of that. So isn't that pack of paper? Also, this kind of makes me think of Harry Potter. Right, like these books are gonna do something because look how old they are. All right, so this was some fun paper. So that is gonna be a blast to play with. All right. Okay, now let's get to the 12 by 12. Now some of this 12 by 12 paper goes with some of the stamp sets that I've already showed you. So you could get it as um, like a suite or a collection. So, um, and I love that we do that because sometimes you just want to order, you know, everything and you just put one number and then you get, you know, you get that whole suite or collection. So already you can tell that this goes with that Marion Bright, I think is the, um, the name of that, you know, with the lights. But how cute is this? So this should just be two sheets, yeah. So this will be two sheets of each, right? So you've got one side, and then, oh my gosh, the other side. Look how cute that is. Oh man, that's adorable. And it's more of a brighter green than, than my computer looks. So I hope it looks better on your end. All right, so we've got this kind of lights, and then we have the rounded bulbs and some really fun stripes. On the other side, we've got some fun polka dots and some fa la 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 on the other side of that. I'm trying to like slide it through so you can still see all the all the pieces. This is so fun. And then some stripes with some stars. So I love this because some of these. Like this does not have to be Christmas, nor this, fa la 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 is, but like this doesn't have to be, neither do these. So what's nice is you can use it all year long. So if, if you buy it and you go, oh, now, you know, even this, that doesn't have to be a Christmas tree. Oh, or maybe it is, it could almost be a hat. It could almost be Santa's hat. But anyways, could look how cute those polka dots are. Then you have these fun stripes and those trees. So that kind of is, but it doesn't have to say Christmas, but, um, but that is a fun pack of paper. All right. Okay. So I'm just stacking them behind me. All right. I'm gonna make my labels. Get all organized. All right. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. So this one is a joy of Christmas 12 by 12. But look how pretty that is. And I'm sure like when a stamp Stampin' Up's artist drew that and they turned it into um, designer series paper. So this I'm pretty sure it's probably the same as the other one where there's two sheets. Yeah. So you have one sheet. And then look how cool that is on the other side. So you've got like this wood, wood it almost, or it could almost be like fur, like bear fur. And you've got some fun, um, whatchamacallit, plaid, but they're not perfectly plaid, right? They're kind of like wiggly. So that's cute. Oh, and then some more wood grainy or bear fur. Okay. And you've got... Some more hollies and berries. This is going to be such fun paper to play with. And then, oh, you've got musical notes on that side. But look how fun this is. It's kind of um, modeled in, in color. So that's pretty cool. 
And then you've just got some pretty, pretty leaves watercolored on there with some, ooh, nice red designs there. And then you've gone from this green plaid, wiggly plaid, to like a red wiggly plaid with some more musical notes on the back. They're just smaller, a little bit smaller than the other. And then the last, is this the last one? I think so. And then you've got this red, red holly. And then this pretty, it's hard to see. Is that the last one? Yeah. See that? If you look close, you can see like leaves and holly berries in it but it's just greens so you can see that I think so it's super pretty so this is a really gorgeous pack of DSP2 okay and we have this is shining brightly 12 by 12 now this is specialty designer series paper sorry for all that crinkly so specialty paper usually has, it usually costs a little bit more. Um, it usually has this higher or heavier um, chipboard in there. And it usually has some sort of foil or embossing done to it. All right, so this one has um, one, two, three, four, five. So this is six sheets. So they're not repeating. So there's nothing on the back. All right, so you've got like a really, really dark navy and gold. Then you've got some pretty stars. Then it's the same, yeah, it's the same patterns, but now it's gone vanilla and gold. So you have like a dark navy and gold, and then you've got a vanilla and gold, but it's the same pattern that you had before. So see that? And they're just one-sided, so they're super pretty. And I think because like when you use this paper, I don't think I would do a full card with just this because it's a lot going on, your eyeball. You would just want to um, like just put, put it a little bit on the card. All right. And then this is Joyful 12 by 12 specialty designer and this one is cherry cobbler and shaded spruce it says so again we've got that chipboard now this is a little different because you've got two two sheets of each all right so it's a little bit different than the other one all right so you've got two sheets again it is um one-sided though i'm just going to look at my catalog Hang on a second. i just want to make sure that um, that first pack that I showed you, since I just opened it, I just want to make sure that that was correct. Because I hate to be um, telling you wrong. All right, so hold on a minute. I apologize. All right, so... Let's see. Page 10. Yeah, so... Um, because this one is a little bit more than the other one, so I'm sure it's I'm sure it's right. Okay, so look how cute this is. So you've got like a um, plaid or whatever. So it's fun with the gold and then the shaded spruce. Look how fun this is. So it's like this fancy gold, like wood green. And then you've got some cherry cobbler musical notes. So just like that other paper, you wouldn't put a, that, I don't think I would put a whole piece of that on a card. No, I'm not telling you you can't. I don't want you to go, oh, how dare you, Diana, say that I cannot. Because you can do whatever you want. But I don't, I'm just like saying I don't know if I would or not. All right. But look how cute that is with the gold and the berries. So this is a fun pack. All righty. And then we have... So this goes, this is that winter meadow. So this goes with that really fun, um, was it winter meadows? Was that the name of the stamp set? All right. So look how pretty this paper is. Oh my gosh, this paper is just amazing. 
and you get two, is that two sheets? Yeah. So you get two sheets. And then look at the back. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a frosted window? So that's pretty cool. And then look at this. Oh my gosh. Isn't that just beautiful? So this is going to make some nice cards. So you cut it in half and then you go boop, boop, and you got six cards out of it. So you've got two, two of those and then look how nice that is. So this is some pretty paper. We just are really going over the top, I think, with it, our designing series paper. It doesn't mean I like it all. I mean, like I even told you when I was looking through some of those other patterns that I didn't care for this one or that one. But on the most, I love it all. All right, so look at these berries. Now, I think you might be able to cut some of these out with a die. Oh, and there's some more of that really fun kind of frosty look. So don't... So don't quote me, you know, because I haven't played yet, but I'm just going to assume. And you know what they say about assuming. All right, so here's some more. Look how pretty that is. And then some more of that. Um, whatever that map that, with all the squirrels and stuff. Not squirrels. Yeah, squirrels, Diana. You know what I mean. Look how pretty this is. This would be... Um, nice wallpaper. Wallpaper is kind of coming back, right? So this is pretty. And then, oh, so see? More of that kind of frosted. Was that the last piece? I think that was. Nope, there's still more. One more. So this is some trees. And then more of this. This almost looks like ice, right? Like a nice frozen lake. All right, so that is very pretty paper, too. Okay. Then we have, so this is some more specialty, Snowflake Magic. And I throw the plastic away, and then I'm like, what was that called? All right, so Snowflake Magic. And after we watch the video. Alright, so this right here is specialty paper too. So you get alright, so this one you have two 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 pieces. But look how pretty. So again, there's nothing on the back. It's one sided, but it's beautiful. What does it say color? Lost the gloom, I think that says. So isn't that pretty? And then you've got some more almost like frosted snow look. This is a pretty pack. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that the prettiest blue? I try not to look at it too much because it's catching the light, but it's gorgeous. I don't want to blind you. All right, we've got, we've still got a few DSPs. There was quite a few DSPs. And I think because I ordered like the collection or the suite, and then it comes with the DSP, that I didn't realize how much was in the catalog. All right. Which is good because the catalog just goes to the end of December. So you're going to want to grab it while you can. Plus, you want to make start getting your Christmas cards made when it's 120 degrees. All right, so look how cute this is. Now, I'm going to assume that... Where's my little bear? I'm just going to assume that this punch... Look at that. That punch will punch that bear out. And look at this other guy with the with the present on his head. So isn't this cute paper? Oh my gosh. I've already had people saying, are you gonna do the polar bears as a glass? So I just might have to. All right, and look at that. The little bunny is on the bear head. And he's putting the star on the tree. Isn't that cute? All right, so here's the back. Again, this remind, just reminds me of like ski clothes. And then we've got some bears. So this would be a great one. Um, if you scrapbook because you've got all this up here that you could put your photos on but look how cute they are and then you've got your your stars some of that really fun stripe so this you can see goes with those um, memories and more cards that I showed you before so look how fun this is you've got some 
they look like foxes and deers and elk and moose and a seal, a bunny. So got some fun little critters. And then you've got these guys. So they're kind of um, shrunk down. And then it's on the back side. So you got some trees there. So you can see some of these patterns repeat from those memories and more cards. So look how cute that is. Oh, and look, there's that fun one with the paws. Can you applause for the paws? All right, so let's see here. What's on the back of this one? That was the paws, right? Yep. And then you've got these cute presents and then some green stripe on the back of the presents. So this is a really fun pack of DSP as well. It's not your normal um, Christmas one, right? Like I had with the ornaments there. All right, then we have Oh Holy Night. And some of the stuff I didn't get um, stamp sets. I tried to um, not buy the whole catalog. All right, but I know you like to see the designer series paper, so sometimes I'll get the designer series paper, and I might not get anything else from um, the suite till later. All right, so here is the Oh Holy Night. So there's that one side, and then the other side. And there's this. So this is not, you know, this is not um, a favorite of mine. And then that, that's kind of cool. But it, this just kind of makes me think I spilt, I spilt something on it. But look how fun this is. Isn't that really cool, that one? So we can't like all of them. Oh, I like that one. And this one is fun too. It looks like, like a dry brush. And then, ooh, see, that's pretty too. So see, you can hardly see, I have to hold it in the right angle so you can see there's a pattern in there. Okay, and then you've got this. So this goes really well with the stamp set. So you can see that there's houses. Oh, now that's pretty cool. And then some more stars. And almost looks like a rope. So this has kind of got that model -y look as well. All right, so that was Oh Holy Night. I think I have two more to show you. All right, so this is Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green. And this is um, foil sheet. So this should be extra blinding. Let me break the camera. All right, so. Oh, you can see my, look at that. You can see my camera mount reflecting. Oh, and look at it. There I am. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay, so here we have, what did I say? Cherry cobbler? I don't know. No, I said melon mambo. Melon mambo and granny apple. So look how cool that is. Here I am. Shrek. And then red. All right, so let's not put that anymore it's too bright and then this is the last DSP and the last of my unboxing and then I'll let you go because you're probably like like oh my gosh lady stop laughing all right so here is the Halloween paper so what's cool is you can trim this so you're looking at this and go well what the heck you know you've got because we have another pack pack one or two in the catalog that are kind of like this so what you do is you have, um, you can cut these. So you just trim this and then you have a card. So this would actually do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine individual cards from this one sheet of paper. So that, that's pretty cool. All right, so look at, this looks like, like they're getting um, taken up in a UFO or something, doesn't it? 
All right, so this is the one side, and then you've got a bunch of boo and eeks on the other. And then you've got some fun um, bones and dog bones and kitty bones. And then there's that, um, what do we call it, hound's tooth. So this is the one that I only got a few things from the Halloween. Because I love Halloween, but half the time I don't have time to do. And then I don't use this stuff, so I try to be better and not spend money. Um, so anyways, you know how that goes. But look how cool this is. That's a really fun plaid. And the little... Um, um, grave thingies and these fun little dancing skeletons with some bats and then this almost looks like oh they're bones but it almost if you just look quick it looks like tire tracks but they're actually look like bones and then you've got some Ricky D bones rest in peace jack-o-lantern tomb sweet tomb and creep creep it real and that's another one that you cut, right? Like you cut in half, and then you can make, you know, multiple cards. And then what's on the back of that? Oh, look it. It's a hound's tooth that I keep calling it. Could be wrong. But they're bats. Or they could be cats. Bats or cats. All right. And then some fun purple stripes. And what's on the back of there? Oh, and then some bats and moons and stars so there is that that is the dsp so that was all of the dsp all right so i can say see you later alligator so what do you think pretty cool right and when i first looked through the um mini catalog i saw it online and i it's hard right to look at a catalog online um so it came the day before for the pre-order. So I was like, oh, that's what that looks like. Oh, this. So I got more than I thought I was going to. And I'm so glad I did. Um, are there some things that I'm like, well, that's just so, so. Yeah, definitely. But if I liked everything, then that wouldn't be too good for my pocketbook. And if everybody liked the same thing, life would be boring, I think. So anyway, so I hope this helped you um, decide uh, it, what you're going to order in September when it becomes live. It hopefully it helps you decide that, you know what, maybe you want this stuff now and you can say, you know what, I'm going to join your team. Um, I need the item code for, you know, that vanilla and black plaid ribbon and I want to get this DSP and I want to get that bundle, what, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, and then I can give you the codes for that. But, um, but yeah, if you have any questions at all, make sure you reach out. Thanks for letting me switch out my regular mimeograph Monday with a twist and, and do the unboxing. So now I have a mess everywhere and I need to get organized and put it away. And so yeah, so have a great night. I will see you tomorrow for my Teach Me Tuesdays, episode 184. And that will be three o'clock Arizona time, same time, same time channel. Have a great night everyone and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.